Pokemon Crystal pushes forward. Hey everybody, I'm your host, Diogen Z. Welcome to my walkthrough. If you're wondering why my, vo my voice sounds a little bit beat, it's because I'm doing this straight after the live cast. Shout out to everybody who was there Sunday night. So again, we're going to go into super speed battles here because these twins take a bit too long for us to defeat while we're trying to train up our Pokemon. Our Pokemon here right now are not at the Super Pwn level where I can just send them out and have regular speed battles and still do everything I want to do in the episode. But I don't want to cut out battles because I do want to show you where we gain experience points just in case you want to know how you do the same for your game. So with Mr. Poof and my Prince Dozo we slowly whittle down these pink puff balls. It's just a matter of switching and poison. See, the way that our team attacks right now is quite slow and monotonous. Thankfully, Mr. Poof has a lot of moves to suck away power, even if they are slow tactics. Poison Power and Leech Sheet are very good combinations. So let's switch around our Pokemon here, just before we verse this upcoming Psychic. How do I know he's Psychic? Because I remember him from my original game. Pokemon can't do anything if they're, asleep. if they're asleep. Let me show you how scary that is. So Greg is gonna show us the fear of nightmares. And this was before the dream world. It's funny, looking at Drowsy now, I saw a comic showing Muna with the 5th generation and all, it being the new Dream Eater Pokemon, and Drowsy was just standing there next to it like, Harumph! I thought I was the Dream Eater Pokemon. So let's go into Ekertik City. The city of ghosty ghouls and groovy old dudes. What groovy old dudes do I speak of, but the ones guarding the Tin Tower. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I was playing in my original game, I used to always try and get past that old dude who was blocking the stairs to ho -Oh. It's funny, I you didn't know that it was a pre-programmed pattern to not let me go through, but I thought, oh, maybe if I go sharp right, sharp left, sharp right, sharp left. Ah, many a minute's wasted grinding my D-pad left and right trying to dodge that old guy's swift moves. Seriously, it's like he buttered the floor. But we have Bill here in front of us, and he just was working on the time machine, which unfortunately I never got to use the time capsule. And I do have original game cartridges of Crystal and past games like Red and Yellow, but I still can't figure out how to connect them together. For some reason, I could never get that to work. And it's a bummer, too, because it's always been my dream to have a Gengar, and I thought, hmm, maybe if I could use the time capsule, I would be able to trade with myself and get a Gengar. Even though I won't be playing that game anymore, I still would love to have the original code of a Gengar on my crystal cartridge. So, if you guys know what it would be that prevents me from using the time capsule, let me know. The gym leader is out. Of course he is. Every gym leader is out. Whoa! Jeez, you don't have to get so pushy. This is a kid's show here, eh? We're not in the mob, we don't need to stop his fights. Alright, so... 
We can't explore the Tin Tower. We get pushed out of the gym. How about this derelict building over here? The tower that used to be here, my grandpa told me. It used to be much taller. Oh, well. That'll happen when fire ravages your home. Talk to Vladimir about that. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are Diogen Z. Glad to meet you. I heard the rumors that Suicune was at the burned tower, so I came to look for it. But where exactly could it be? Aha, you! You're the gym leader. What are you doing out here? You should be leading the gym. I wanted to battle you and reminisce about how much I love Gengar. Okay, so he's helping you seen look for Suicune. And I hate to tell you guys, you're not going to find much if you keep looking by the door. The entranceway does not harbor a Suicune. Ah, and neither do these random Pokemon encounters. Again, I keep those in, but cut, not repelled, because I love the experience points from it. Okay. What are you doing here? We have you seen, looking for Suicune, asking if we've seen him, but you too, you're looking for him as well. Oh, but he's had as much luck as the guys by the door. How is it our fault? Jeez. Such an accusatory young man. Our rival, Silver, wants to battle. Okay, so Silver this time around has an evolved Ghastly. Yet another step closer to gaining a Gengar. And I don't know how he does it, because I'll tell you this. Somehow he'll find a way to evolve that Haunter. But this Haunter is a good test before you get to the gym of Morty to see if you could handle what ghost types can do. Now, if you were training in the past patch of grass that was right before Ecartic City, you can usually find some Growlithe there. So if you don't have any Pokemon that have dark type moves like Charbok here, or other moves like ghost types if you yourself caught a Ghastly, then you can test out a good strategy here with maybe Growlithe from that grass on your rival. As for this Magnemite, I recommend that you use a Fire-type Pokemon or a Ground-type. It's important to remember, I've been tricked by it myself, that Magnemites cannot levitate, even though I've seen them do it countless times in the anime and in any three-dimensional video game I see. For some reason, even in the generation when they get abilities, Magnemite doesn't have Levitate. It's kind of funny and strange that it doesn't. I think it should be an alternate Dream World ability for Magmite and its evolutions to gain Levitate. It'd be very interesting and fun to trick up people in the metagame like that. But for Crystal and Gold and Silver, just stick with Fire types. Usually an Ember will take out this Magnemite. I'm only drawing things out this time because I'd like to get some experience. And I can whittle him down slowly but surely. One problem that you have to remember about Steel-type Pokémon, though, is that Poison-type moves, such as Poison Powder, won't work. So while I can take away some of his life with Leech Seed, I hope it's going to be enough. Thankfully, even though Mr. Poof doesn't attack very fast and have that many offensive moves, I predicted in the future when catching him as a jump or as a uh, hopip, sorry, thinking as him in the future as a jump bluff, but when I caught him as a hop if I thought about the fact that he's going to be a regenerative, annoying type wall. He's just going to stall out Pokemon while they're poisoned and seeded, and if he gets low to health, he can heal himself up with synthesis. It's a maniacal strategy, and it defeats a steel type while using a grass type. I don't want to completely sweep my opponents, and I like making this interesting for you guys. So while we do rush past all the normal battles that are just merely there as experience outposts, I want to have some interesting, unique battles with the main people, the main bosses of the game. 
you could consider Rival as one of your mini-bosses, while the gym leaders act as the big bosses. And I guess that water gun's not going to be as effective, effective as I would like. So Cinequil... Oh no! Confusion! You know what to do. I always love the confused face in Crystal. <laughs> Those, those little heads that circle around your Pokemon when they're confused. Damn it! I don't like being hit, hurt with confusion, though. Ay ay ay. No! Cyndaquil, get it together. We need that ember. Good. See, all I had to do was, like in Pokemon Coliseum, and call out to your Pokemon when they're in Shadow Rage mode, or Confusion mode. But yeah, what are those confused heads supposed to be? And I wonder if it's some kind of Japanese thing that I wouldn't know about. Who knows? They would know, because they programmed it. And last but not least, your rival will throw out his starter. Except his, unlike mine, is Evolved! However, slightly weaker by two levels. Yes, I know that I could easily evolve my Cyndaquil, but to be honest with you, I kind of have a nostalgic view, and I love having him as a Cyndaquil. I don't know why, or I do know why. It's been a long history of him building up who I am today, but it all started with a Cyndaquil, and I kind of want to leave it that way. I don't know if I'll go the whole LP that way, though, because... Typhlosion was excellent, and I love his evolution. I really want to show that off, too. But this Croconaw will be no problem if you chose... Well, well, I was going to say, you won't fight a Croconaw if you have chosen Chikorita. But you can use Leaf, you can use Grass types, and uh, use Razor Leaf with Bell Sprout, Or you can take the long route of training, the more... Uh, drawn out process and less, off less offensive with training a hopper. But that worked just fine for me. Mr. Poof, you've got the power we need. And we gain another level! So let me, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Wow. Talk about not knowing how to talk. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about me not evolving my Cyndaquil. I think it's funny that I don't evolve Pokemon in some of my walkthroughs when usually all I do is race to evolution in my main game. EGAD! WHAT IS THAT?! Huh. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are, you noob. Serves you right. <laughs> Oh, I love our insulting rival. Hmm. Where are we? What. The. Hell. My goodness, what just happened there? Not a wild Pokemon encounter. But a legendary Pokemon encounter! I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked! Suicune raced by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. For ten years I chased Suicune. And I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Dio Gen Z, I owe this all to you. Thank you! heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ekertik test chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Diogen Z, let's meet again. Farewell. Yes, you seen farewell. I thought much higher of you when I only knew you as a gaming character and not as a ridiculous goof in the anime. Anyway, guys, we just had our first legendary encounter. Apparently, we passed the test of some type of courage. So, in our future episodes, will this courage lend us to see future legendaries? We'll have to see, but I can tell you this, in the next episode we'll face Morty, the gym leader of Ekertik City, and earn our fifth badge. <laughs>